Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today we're going to come from Romans chapter 8, and a passage we're pretty familiar with, and we read it quite often, but there's a focus on here I want us to take a look at this morning uh, together. Romans chapter 8, verse uh, 31 starts this way. It says, what, the, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? It's a rhetorical question, of course. He's going to go on to answer here in a second. Basically, the fact that nobody can be against us, right? Goes on at the end of this chapter and says, nothing can separate us from the love of God. But what I want to focus on is what we actually hear in verses 32 and 33. It says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. I love this position. I love these thoughts, right? Literally, he says here, what, you know, what should we say about these things, right? If God's for us, who can be against us? And God is for us. And it's God who justifies, right? He didn't spare his own son so that we could be justified, so that he could freely give us all things. If you can if you allow me some liberty here, so he could show grace to you. God justifies. Now, does that mean that we should sit there and go, okay, well, then I can do whatever I want because God's going to justify me. His blood is going to cleanse me. As the Galatians would say, shall we continue to sin that uh, grace may abound? God forbid. But what I really want us to drive out here was really understand is sometimes when we mess up, we slip up, we fall backwards, whatever the case may be in our walk with Jesus Christ, we sometimes allow the enemy in our own minds to beat us up so much that we forget that we stand by God's justification not by our flesh. We didn't start with the flesh, we're not saved by the flesh, and we don't continue to walk by the flesh. We walk by the Spirit. So no matter what you're facing, and no matter what you've gone through, and no matter how you may have messed up, remember it is God that justifies. It's God who loves you, and it's God who gave himself for you. So just keep those things in mind today, guys, as we go through our life, and just be encouraged. Forget those things that are behind. Press on towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. As always, remember, that I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.